chess friends, how are you, hope you are good and today I will show you the game between Stockfish, 15.1 vs Stockfish 16, in this game Stockfish, 15.1 sacrificed his rook against me, this game is over 4050 elo rated game so be ready to observe a true masterpiece chess game. Learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow, the important thing is not to stop questioning, so let's go, I started with d4, we have Horvitz defense, c4 knight to f6, I didn't play knight c3 cause the game would convert into Nimtso Indian, I would like to play anti Nimtso Indian attack, d5 and the game converted into queen's gambit decline opening, I didn't play Catalan opening, rather I choose to play knight c3, there are only two great tragedies in life. One is not getting what you want and the other is getting it, so we have c6, making three pawn chain in queen side, now g3 and bishop g2 is no longer available, it is called semi-slav defense so I played bishop g5, pawn captured c4 e4, to target this pawn and threatening to push the e pawn, which is why he played b5 to build his structure, but he ignored his knight on f6, h6 and you shouldn't take the knight, let me show you the variation. After doing some exchanges we will get this position where the king position looks like terrible but his pawns are not weak, rook will get an open file and the bishop and the queen will target to this single island pawn, this structure is not bad at all, so back to the position, we have bishop h4 g5, targeting to the bishop and bishop g3 will stop the bishop line so I sacrificed the knight as a tempo, takes takes to target this knight, so knight d7 and after two moves later we have h4. G3 can be played but after queen a5, black chooses to play castle in queen side, so I played castle in short side, both super engines castled in different sides and the game become quite interesting, bishop h5 is an incoming threat to target this pawn, so we have knight c5, threatening to play b4 by activating the rook on d file, if black plays b4 successfully then the knight will be very restricted and passive, so I played queen c1, rook takes d4. Queen e3 to target the rook and if you dare to move back your rook for example rook d8, then after doing rook exchanges on d1 square, the file will totally seize by rook and the diagonal will be trapped by the bishop, so after a6 bishop f4, if you play like Gothamchis to kick out the knight then I will play queen a5 with a checkmating threat, believe me or not checkmate is unstoppable here, if you play knight d4 to protect that square then I will capture your queen on a5, so back to the position. If you play bishop d6 to sacrifice it, followed by knight d7 to protect that square because now the queen is not longer available on e5 square to target the queen, if knight d7 then I will capture it fool, try to observe things in multiple ways, not like one or two, so back to the position, if someone plays e5 then I will capture it simply, b3 and it will be a checkmate. So back to the position, Stockfish 15.1 is awesome guy like me so he decided to sacrifice his rook on h4, he is threatening me to checkmate in h1 square, so after takes takes, if you play any 200 elo move for example, queen d2 then black will play b4 to target the knight, knight have to go back then knight e4 will come, queen here queen e5 to checkmate you in h2, so g3 to block the diagonal, then black will play the killer move bishop c5 to target it with the supporting of the queen, queen f3. The pawn is pinned so knight takes g3, you can't take the knight because of this, and black is targeting to the bishop with two pieces, so after rook e1 knight e4, black is targeting to this pawn and queen h2 check is coming, white is hopeless and he can't do anything to stop it, rook f4 and the position will be dead lost, I just showed you the variation, don't worry, this isn't happened to my game, so chess friends, if you want to become smart like me then you can like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So we have g3 to target it, rook to h6, rook d1 and I can play queen g5, queen c7 rook to d4, I want to double up my rooks to activate my rook on this file, he played b4 to target the knight, rook takes c4 and I sacrificed my knight, rook takes c5 and after doing some pieces exchanges on c5, we both have equal amount of pieces but I have some advantages, and if you dare to take the pawn, then rook d1 will come to seize the file, therefore queen f8 check will destroy you. You have to move back your queen then it will be a checkmate on d8, ok king b8 to stop the queen check on f8 but I will give him check on f8 anyway, bishop blocks and I will take the pawn, 
Bishop a6 will be a reasonable choice and the file will be open for rook, that means that you will be destroyed, so you have to play carefully, rook h8, to stop the queen check, b3, and black plays queen d8 which is an inaccuracy move, best was to push the c-pawn. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.